Another twist and turn in the Mesa County elections probe. Colorado Secretary of State acknowledges the security breach and is taking action. Good evening, everybody. I'm Shannon Ogden. Glad you're joining us. I'm Andrew Trujillo. This breach did happen May of 2021 and had no impact on any election, but we want to dig deeper into what happened in Mesa County, what the evidence shows, and what this means for future elections. Denver 7's Jason Grinauer has tonight's top story. 41 pieces of voting equipment, including computers and scanners, must now be replaced by Mesa County after the Secretary of State says the local clerk and recorder knowingly and intentionally took part in a breach of election security. Mesa County clerk and recorder allowed a security breach and by all, uh, by all evidence at this point, assisted it. Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold says her office found evidence that during a voting equipment update in May of 2021, Mesa County Clerk and Recorder Tina Peters directed Mesa County staff to turn off the video surveillance of their voting equipment. As well as authorized a non-employee into the trusted build after misleading my office on the person's employment status. That breaks election rules. It also allowed for someone to film passwords to the county's voting equipment, which were eventually leaked online by a known conspiracy theorist. It was a solo, intentional and selfish act that jeopardized the conduct of and integrity of the elections in Mesa County and affects the confidence of voters throughout the state and the country. Because of this, the Secretary of State announced that voting equipment that was involved could no longer be used. Machines will have to be replaced or Mesa County will have to do a hand count. Denver 7 has reached out to the clerk and recorder, Tina Peters, multiple times to no avail. She also isn't talking to the Secretary of State's office. The county clerk has not communicated at all with us. It's a, a shame. I, I think it's, um, it's just uh, really horrible for the state of Colorado to have an elected elections official knowingly allow a breach of security um, and also spread disinformation. There is also a separate criminal investigation going on into this security breach. At this morning's news conference, officials fell short of calling for Peter's resignation. The Secretary of State said this only impacted one county, did not happen during an election, and will not impact any future elections. She emphasized th that the security of Colorado's elections as a whole is still strong. In the newsroom, I'm Jason Grenauer. Denver 7. We have that entire Secretary of State's report, plus more details on what led up to this investigation in Mesa County right now for you on the DenverChannel.com. And you can also